Hi, welcome back to our series on matrix. In the previous video, we learned about transpose of a matrix. In this video, we will learn about some of the properties of the operation transpose on a matrix. Right? The first property is transpose of a transpose of a matrix A will be the matrix itself. So what it means is if you have a transpose matrix A dash, transpose it once again it will become A itself. Now let's check it with an example. So here is A. We know from the previous video how to make a transpose. So transpose of A would be A dash which is nothing but we keep the diagonal elements intact and flip the position of the non-diagonal elements. Right. So A dash should be this metric. Now if we do the transpose of a dash which is transpose of a dash which is written like this then what we get is we take transpose of a dash which is this matrix and then transpose it once again how do we do again keep the diagonal element same and flip these two non-diagonal elements so minus two and three now what do we have is the original matrix that we started with hence a dash of transpose of a dash will be a itself this is the first property now we will learn the next property now the second property says scalar which is a constant multiplying a matrix and then if we take the transpose of the product will be equal to multiplying the constant with the transpose so a scalar multiplication of a matrix when transposed will give the scalar multiplying the transpose separately. Let's just check it with an example that will become more clear. Now look at this matrix A. It's given by A, B, C and D. And let the constant K be 2. So K times A would be equal to 2A, 2B, 2C and 2 times D. Now what is the left hand side which is k times a transposed right and that will be equal to what do we do we keep this constant same 2a 2b remains where they are and we flip the non-diagonal element so 2b will come here and 2c will go this is k times a right and this is nothing but two times of a, B, C and D. Now look at this matrix. This is nothing but A dash. So what we have is 2 times of A dash. Right? Hence this property is also valid. So this property to summarize is a constant multiplying a matrix. If the product is in transpose, what you get is a product of the constant with the transpose. So it is quite straightforward. Now, the third property states, if we transpose sum of two matrices, what we will get is the result will be the sum of transposes of individual matrix. So if we transpose a sum, what we get essentially would be the sum of the transposes of the original matrix. So what it means is you can either add them and transpose it or Transpose them first and add both the times you will get the same answer. Let's check it with an example. So here in the example we have A which is a matrix like this. So now we let's write A dash which is A, B, B will come here and C will go there. Then we have B. Let's do a transpose of B itself. So B, B dash would be X and B remains the same because they are on the diagonal and the non-diagonal elements gets flipped over. Right? So this is B dash. Now what is A plus B? A plus B is you had the corresponding elements of A and B. So the first element of A plus B would be A plus X. Similarly, B plus Y, C plus Z, D plus B. Right? This is A plus B. Now let us find out what is A plus B transposed. A plus B transposed would be 
the diagonal elements of a plus b remains the same which is a plus x and d plus p but the non-diagonal elements get split it becomes b plus y and c plus z All right. so this essentially is a plus b whole dash this can always be written as a c b and d plus x z p y now look at this this is nothing but a dash and this is nothing but b dash so which is equal to a dash plus b dash hence it is proved in the next video we will learn one last property of transpose of matrix before we move on to the next